Hey, how y'all doing today? Man, what a day. It's <laughs> Saturday morning. It's raining. I just got out of work, got home, and I'm on my way to the gun club for a rifle match that I'm running. Running late. I'm out of gas, and I'm not sure where I put my uh, target stand. So, yeah, got that going for me. But I got some uh, pirate cake and the old Joby, so, hey, good time. Well, just wolfed down a slice of pizza while fueling up, so now I'm off to find my target stand. Hopefully, it's in the garage. I don't remember leaving it there, but I can't find it anywhere else, so let's go. Okay, now we're ready to go. I'm very late. That guy's waiting for me, but should be fun, even though it's raining. Very nasty weather. See you soon. Shooting. It's wrong because my scope keeps fogging up. Oh. But uh, that last shot was low. I uh, might have yanked it. You didn't try the stuff I gave you yet? No, not yet. Because I know this shoots. It's on target. Okay. So, let's just go with what I know first. That's a hell of a front sight on that thing. It beats yeah. somebody to death with that front sight. Yeah, but the rear sight's super tiny. So. Oh. <laughs> I know. Yeah, those sites are tough. Always recording himself. I was wondering what was going on. <laughs> He's over there. Since I can't see the hole, I'm just going to assume it's in the black. Okay. Right. That's, that's a good assumption. Good assumption. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, what a mess. <laughs> what a mess. So, uh, just dropped off my buddy back at his house. Um, he can't drive. He just had knee surgery. So, I've been helping him out. Um, usually I would have a, uh, a pipe at the range after shooting. Uh, but the weather's so nasty out, uh, I'm not really interested in hanging out outside. Um, so, just parked over here, getting ready to uh, load up a pipe. Of course, I look at my console and I see empty jar. And another empty jar. And another empty jar. And I'm starting to get worried now. Because I thought I had something with me. And then, boom. Got some Bayou Night. 
and got the general. So we're gonna load this up and have a nice smoke for the ride home. Um, yeah, I did not shoot as well as I would have liked to today. Um, just, it was all over the place. Uh, I hadn't shot that rifle in a while. It's a, it's a Spanish Mauser M96. Um, it's chambered in 7.62 by 51. Um, same cartridge as 308, but it's less pressure than commercial 308. Um, that the rifle was uh, rechambered um, by the Spanish military back in, I think, the 40s or 50s. Uh, they rechambered a bunch of them to use the more modern cartridge. Um, but you can't use commercial 308 in them because it's it's too powerful. But military surplus stuff works just fine. But yeah, my target was not good looking. I didn't take any video, any pictures of my target because it wasn't very good at all. Uh, what we're doing is we're doing what we call the Winter War. It's a rifle match over three months of the winter. We have a match in December, January, and February. Uh, it's all surplus rifles, uh, military surplus. And most of the guys, generally we're all shooting stuff that's anywhere from 50 to 100 years old. Um, it gets a lot of fun when uh, you're out there in the snow and the cold and the wind, um, freezing your butt off trying to, to hit a target at 100 yards. But it's a good time. It sounds, I mean, <laughs> It's more fun than it sounds. Yeah, hold on. So, now I'm getting ready to head home. I gotta go over some paperwork. I'm trying to buy a house, and it's a house out in the country, and it's got some problems, it's got some complications. So, it's, it's kind of a pain, but it'll pay off in the end if I can get it. If I can get it for what I want, then I'll be very happy. But until then, it's just frustrating. But at least I have some tobacco. I don't have any beer today because you don't, it's generally not a good idea to drink and go to the range at the same time. So. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for today. Um, I'll see y'all later. Go on.